The island of Sao Tome off the west coast of Africa is one of the world's biodiversity hotspots. There are more unique plants and bird species per square kilometers than anywhere else in the world. But farmers struggling to make a living have encroached into protected areas. We get more in this report from the International Fund for Agricultural Development. This is the island of Sao Tome, more than 230 kilometers off the coast of West Africa. This island may be small, but its biodiversity is huge. One in ten plants here are found nowhere else, and there are more unique bird species per square kilometer than anywhere on the globe. Every day, scientists discover new things. We've been coming now for 13 or 14 years Every time we come here, we find new species, species that have never been described before. I'm just racing to find out what's here before it's gone. And these unique species could be gone soon. Although 30% of the island has been declared a protected park, a lost sanctuary for many globally threatened species, this has been difficult to enforce. Sao Tome is one of the world's poorest countries, and farmers struggling to make a living here enter the park to cut down trees for firewood, construction and farmland. This is a big concern for the park's director, Aurelio Rita, who is witnessing how the farmers are encroaching further into the protected areas. As you can see, the farmers are reaching the limit of the park and they are cutting down the trees. If we do not start taking measures soon, very shortly they will enter the park and this will have very negative impacts. But measures are now being taken, and part of the solution comes from a surprising place, organic chocolate. With its rich soil and forest shade, Sao Tome produces a very high-quality cocoa bean, and when those beans are grown organically, they command an even higher price. For more than 10 years, the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, has been working on this island to resurrect a dying cocoa industry and it has brokered partnerships between the cocoa farmers here and top organic chocolate makers in Europe. For farmer Joao José, this has meant a massive jump in his income, from about $11 a month to more than $300. Before, I used to make approximately 200,000 dobras a month. Now, every two weeks, I make two or three million dobras. It's not only lucrative, but organic cocoa is also kind to the environment. It's grown under the shade of existing trees, requiring no clearing of the forest and keeping the soil free of chemicals. But organic cocoa alone cannot save this island because Sao Tome needs other crops too. About 70% of the country's vegetables are grown right in the park's buffer zone, threatening the biodiversity here. So IFAD has joined forces with the Global Environment Facility an international organization that responds to environmental threats to help these people in the buffer zone to farm more sustainably. These specialists have come to assess the farming methods here, and they'll develop a training program to help farmers use better techniques to grow more environmentally friendly crops. Victor Bonfin, who is coordinating this, expects the farmers themselves will soon be preserving this unique environment. Within a few years, I hope we can make our population more aware, better educated and better trained about environmental issues so that they can contribute to its preservation. And part of this preservation will mean finding energy sources that require no firewood. So Victor and his team are experimenting with this biogas system, which converts the methane produced from animal waste into gas for cooking. If we eventually find that biodiversity continues to disappear, that the forests continue to disappear, that the most important species no longer exist, if that happens, I would feel very, very sad. This is something that Victor is doing all he can to avoid. Amongst the upcoming plans are to include conservation education in the high school syllabus and to develop ecotourism. In the meantime, organic farmers like Joao are already doing their part to preserve this unique environment. The International Fund for Agricultural Development is an agency of the United Nations. 